This is a story about a young girl with a very powerful literary imagination, living in a very privileged background in southern England in 1935, in the shadow of the Second World War, which is looming ahead. Her imagination runs away with her and causes her to convince herself and everybody else that her sister's lover is the uh, perpetrator of a crime. Yes, I saw him. Just as you see me. I know it was him. You know it was him? Or you saw him? She sometimes gets confused with reality and um, fantasy. And in, on this occasion especially, she really does. And she kind of ruins people's lives. She's not lying when she says she saw it. That's what she believes. And. Um, with tragic consequences. Tragic, life-changing um, consequences for everybody. Emotions are running high and you can't quite think straight. And I think, you know, as, as the story of that day goes on, hopefully you'll get a sense of that, you know, that people are slightly boiling over. The rest of the film is really about uh, what effect that has on the people that were there that evening. And one of the people who's affected profoundly that evening is Robbie, who's uh, uh, the main male lead in the film, and he ends up as a private in the war. It just seems so complete. Every scene is so inspiring and so full of truth and lack of truth in the world, and so beautifully written. Christopher Hampton's written a brilliant screenplay, I think, a really good version of, of Ian McEwan's novel, and I think Joe's the perfect director for it.